back to the touchline here on Y254. You have just been watching the best of plays by legendary basketball player Kobe Bryant. There, It is a tribute to one of the best players to have ever played the game of basketball here in the world. I'm Robert Osoro and I'm joined by one person who understands and knows basketball. It is in her DNA. That is the founder and CEO of Sports Connect Africa, Cynthia Mumbo. Okay. Cynthia, welcome to the Touchlight on Y254. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Yeah. Thank you very much for uh, uh, hosting me once again. Welcome. Big news that we have here, sad news that we start in the world of sports here today, Kobe Bryant, the passing of Kobe Bryant. You were in the generation growing up during the Kobe Bryant era. Yeah. Was it personal for you? Very. Kobe is gone. Yeah. Very, yeah. very. I mean, I never met him. Mm -hmm. I would have really loved to meet him, but I used to mimic him. Um, yeah. I loved his, I don't care, attitude. Yes. I mean, go out there and do whatever it is that you have to do. He didn't, um, he didn't mince his words about that. Yeah. Uh, I, he's, um, was time 41? Yes, I just turned 41. 41, actually. right. Yeah. Uh, so she, just a few years, maybe three years uh, older than myself. Yeah three, four years older than me. So we were pretty much in the same yeah. age group. Um, and, and Kobe, for me, he stood for resilience. Yeah. He stood for humanity in the sense that I've made mistakes. He wasn't afraid of yes. his, uh, his mistakes. Yeah. He, he didn't let those bog him down, you know, mm -hmm. bog him down rather. He was about, you know what, fall, get up, yeah. get moving. But mm -hmm. when you move, move to a level that people just either move for you yes, or they look at you and they say, we want to be like you. Yeah. And a big one for him that he was drafted immediately from high school to join the NBA. How big of a talent was he when he was playing? I'm not sure if he was the first, but I think he was one of the first one to, of the first yes, players, to yeah. move directly from, mm -hmm. from high school to yes. the NBA. That tells yeah. you something about his character. Yeah. Uh, just, uh, I think yesterday or the day before, I saw a picture on Twitter of um, yeah. a gentleman who mm. was talking about Kobe's story. And it was Kobe when he was 12 years old, uh -huh. when he was living in Italy. Yes. Um, and, and this kid at 12 yeah. was throwing three-pointers on grown-ups. Yeah. And this man's memory was really a true testament to what Kobe was, even at a 12 real years old. A vivid memory. Right. Yeah. Even yeah. at 12 years old, he yeah. didn't care about, you know, who was what or what. He just wanted to do his thing yeah. and do it well. So he's, um, he's definitely going to be missed. Kobe Bryant will be missed, but most of the conversations now is where does he lie in history when it comes to the history of the NBA and the history of basketball? Where do you rank Kobe Bryant? For me, he's the best. Yeah. For me. I yeah. mean, you know, <laughs> sports people, yes. it's a Messi and, and Ronaldo kind of yes. conversation. <laughs> yeah. uh, he was talented, and he used to say that all the time. I'm extremely talented, but yes. I work very hard. Kobe yeah. would be in the court way before his teammates, would, after his teammates would leave. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. he would still be there. Yeah. He went beyond his human capabilities. So when you look at, you know, players, at that global level, yeah. very few come and go. Mm. I mean, the NBA has stars. By the yes. time that you're getting into playing the NBA, mm. you're, you know, you're a, you're a, you're a special gift in yourself. Yes. But for you to get to the level that Kobe got to, yeah, where you're, you're the definition of basketball. Yes. For a generation, mm. that is rare. Yeah. That's very rare. Mm. We, he will not be forgotten. Yeah. He will. He is. He's up there with Larry Bird. He's up uh -huh. there with uh -huh. with uh, Michael Johnson. Yeah. He uh -huh. is, he is, you know. For me, <laughs> I'm putting him up there. I would say Larry Bird. Larry Bird. <laughs> yeah, like yes. he is. He's Kobe. I mean, how many how many uh, basketball players do you know who are named by one name? No, no one. Only Kobe. Only Kobe. Yeah. yeah. And all the others have got Even LeBron names. is LeBron James. <laughs> yes. Kobe is Kobe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the legacy that he leaves. It's a big legacy for everyone who is coming up. For people who don't know Kobe Bryant, the, now is when they are learning, oh, we've got someone who used to be called Mamba. He had that attitude of Mamba when he gets mm. onto the basketball court. That is a big legacy that he has left for us in the world of sports and the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And 
We know that Kobe Bryant is gone yesterday. The Lakers lost 127-119 to the Portland Trail Blazers. But mm. I know they will be back. Can LeBron deliver a championship for them anytime soon? LeBron's LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's possible. It's possible. The, the thing about LeBron is that he's a builder. Yeah. I mean, he gets mm -hmm. in there and he puts pieces together. Yeah. And he's a no-nonsense player as well. So, you know, the generation after ours, they know LeBron. So yeah. he, he says he's going to take over the mantle from Kobe. A lot of these players really looked up to Kobe. He was like the big brother after Jordan. It yes. was Kobe. And then, you know, now LeBron, all these kids were looking up to LeBron. Yeah. Um, and LeBron is one of those human beings that, you know what, when he says he's going to do something, he you sit there and watch and yeah. say, okay, he said it. Yeah. Uh, but he puts in the work. So, yeah. I mean, with sports, nothing is impossible. Yeah. It's just a matter of sitting there watching and saying, let's see what, how it's, how it's going to go. Um, the NBA is also very different now. Yeah. It's more competitive. Yeah. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Big one there for us. It is the Y254 on the touchline. I'm Robert Osoro, and I'm joined by the CEO Sports Connect Africa, Cynthia Mumbo, and we are just giving you a tribute of Kobe Bryant, who passed away last week. But away from that, let's now turn back to our own basketball here in the country. Before we talk about the Morans and how they have been performing, I've got to ask you about your baby project, the Vicapo Elite. How is it going so far? Uh, Vicapo Elite Basketball Academy is doing really well. Yeah. Uh, we are now in our third year. Um, absolute blessings. We yeah. have our first, I would say, class who have sort of graduated. Yes. So, you know, they all looked at me and they said, Miss, yeah. we've finished uh, yeah. the program. Uh -huh. What are you going to do with us? Yeah. We're starting a team. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. And they're doing amazing, amazing yeah. stuff. So, um, last weekend, they were together with the coaches ID and our administrator, Grace, they were at Mamu yes. High School. Uh -huh. yeah. So, we're now doing outreach programs. Uh -huh. um, uh, to, high to high schools. To high schools, which we weren't doing before. Yeah. And, you know, the, the amazing thing about the Vicapu program is that we're not just about basketball. Mm -hmm. We're very, very interested in the wholesome growth of development, this development of, yeah. these, yeah. of these young individuals. Mm -hmm. um, one amazing thing is that this class mm -hmm. that just completed, we had four kids, four or five kids who yeah. um, just did their um, high school exams. Uh -huh. We had three A's and one B+. Plus. Wow, that's big for them. Many parents uh, tell you, they usually tell their kids, get yes. them out of basketball. We tell parents, yeah. allow or, or out of sports or yeah. out of art or out of, you know, stuff that keeps them, mm. and, uh, like, uh, occupied. Yes. We tell parents, allow the kids to play. Mm -hmm. Allow the kids to play, but what happens is, yeah. have a balance. So mm -hmm. what we do with Vicapu is the kids come into the program and we really encourage them to put in their minds yeah. into their schoolwork as well. Meaning that we'll be seeing them when the COSA games turn up because now they'll be in the major universities in town. That's what we're hoping for. Yeah. That's what we're hoping for. Um, yeah. Ultimately, our program, uh, the idea is to get uh, scholarships both locally and internationally. Uh, yes. uh, we're working together with um, a partner organization in the US and hopefully, uh, hopefully this year we'll have yeah. two or three uh, of them join universities um, abroad. Abroad. Yeah. Yeah. We've had uh, one of them who went to Spain for tryouts, mm -hmm. um, uh, but uh, he's back. Uh, yes. So the idea is, mm -hmm. you know, not everybody is uh, a superstar. Yes. But everybody is a star. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so the 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 idea is to get them that exposure, mm -hmm. uh, and get them, you know, uh, enjoying the game, but yeah. also growing as individuals. Yeah. This year we've planned um, a couple of trips. Last year we did uh, yeah. we did tours. Uh, we realized that just playing locally, you know, yeah. is good, but. Uh, what about the opportunity to open up um, yeah. uh, their minds to what else is out there? So we went to uh, Dar es Salaam and we went to South Africa. Um, we went to Uganda. Uh, this year we plan on going to Rwanda, yes. um, South Africa, yeah. uh, Uganda and um, uh, Dar es Salaam as well. Dar es Salaam. Yeah. That, that's a big calendar for you when it comes to your calendar this year in 2020. That's just the tours. We've not yeah. talked about the tournament, uh, yeah. which we had the first one last year. Yes, so um, we're expecting another one this we're year. Gonna, and it's going to be bigger and better. Yeah. We had a tournament for under 14-year-olds. Yes. Uh, and it's as local as it gets. So yeah. we want to do the same thing. Um, 
we, we know that there's going to be heavy basketball with the NBA coming in uh, yes. uh, to do whatever it is that they do yeah. uh, ac across Africa. And we're saying... The, the NBA the development program. That they're not just the program. Africa. Remember yeah. that the NBA is um, setting up its basketball league. So what yes. will that league look like? Big one, actually. Yeah. What will that league look like in <laughs> 10 years? I yeah. want the couple elite players to be majoring yes. in, those, in, those, in that yeah. African league, in the local league. Yes. And why not? That's a big one for us. So, so far, how does your calendar look like for this year, 2020? So, the we've already started our weekend programs. Yeah. We have weekend programs every Saturday yeah. uh, at Strathmore University. Mm -hmm. And then in April, August, yeah. and mm -hmm. uh, December, we'll have our holiday programs. Yes. Uh, and um, those start on the second weekend of the holiday. Yes. In between, we then do the tours. Yes. Um, our biggest uh, period yeah. is uh, is the August uh, September uh, the yeah. August holidays we call that the summer holidays yeah um, and then also the December one when uh, the eight four four have closed but yes. the uh, the summer holidays when the GCAC and the international schools have closed mm -hmm. so within that period we yeah. have uh, the August uh, holidays is when we have the longest um, mm -hmm. uh, holiday program holiday program yeah yes. and then the tournament mm -hmm. is now uh, what we hold in yeah. in December mm -hmm. and then we have a tour in December as well. Yeah. Yeah. Big one for Vicapu. Any other projects away from Vicapu that you're working on? Because I know you are, your DNA is basketball here in the country. Well, um, yes, we have something coming up, but I don't want to talk about it yet. <laughs> Till I'm, it's ready. Yes, when I'm ready, I'll, uh, I'll share. Yeah. Um, but you know, at Sports Connect Africa, basketball is not the only thing that we do. So yeah. um, I just came back from a trip to London. There's yeah. a project that we're working on. Um, and if that works out, it will be very, you know, very exciting. We're working on, a, on an integration to applications for EPL clubs to connect with African um, wow. to the That's African market. That's a big one. That's a huge one. Yeah. I, I told you, I'm like, Kobe, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> and it has to be done. Yes, why not? It, it has uh, to be uh, done. Fail forward. Keep, yeah. keep trying. Keep, you know, it's, mm. it's never easy. Yes. But just get out there and do it. Yeah. You only stop yourself. Yeah. 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 And then uh, l last weekend also we had the FIBA Afro Basketball Pre-Qualifiers here, which we won against South Sudan. And now we are heading on to the main qualifiers. How big a success was that event here in the country? It was amazing. Yeah. We have to really, um, one comment, KBF, for hosting yes. the tournament. Yeah. Uh, and it's not an easy yeah. feat to, yeah. to host a tournament like that. I mean, my, look my, at the numbers. My director is pressuring me to ask that question. That, that is the one that came to mind. During that game, people talk about fans not turning out for basketball events, basketball games and everything. But that day, that game was about even to be cancelled by the FIBA officials because of the fan turnaround. The turn-up was really huge. I say this every day and I say this with lots of kindness. Yeah. Kenya is a basketball nation. Mm -hmm. Yes. But sports business yeah. and sports marketing, mm -hmm. we have no clue. Yeah. You have to have consistency. Mm -hmm. Why do you know of Kobe? Yeah. Why do you know Every the brand? Every weekend there is a game I watch of the NBA. Uh, yes, how, yeah. how do you interact on your social media yes. platforms? Mm -hmm. Who owns the narrative when yeah. it comes to the NBA? Mm -hmm. They are very, very particular and very close to their heart in yes. terms of how they manage the brand. Mm -hmm. um, let's look at this event. Yeah. What did you know about it? The biggest thing was that we had to have a role then coming on to the country. We had the Morans also coming on Which is painful for me. Yeah. Because you know about Luol Deng, Deng but you didn't know, know about the Kenyan bit. Yes. And so uh -huh. we didn't own the narrative, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And that's, for me, is, is, is a marketing conversation. It doesn't yeah. mean that uh -huh. there is anything wrong with the Federation uh -huh. per se. It's yes. just that there's a lack of capacity and capability around that area. Yes. And it's something that we need to work on. Uh -huh. There's an op I see it as an opportunity. Yeah. Um, we, we saw the last day yeah. being full. Yeah. I can tell you the whole week, yeah. Nyayo was packed. It was packed, yeah. 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 The whole week, Nyayo yeah. was packed. Uh -huh. But many people didn't know yeah. that this tournament was going on. I came there was there. lots of word of mouth. Yes. Right? Yeah. Not necessarily being pushed uh, mm -hmm. from a marketing uh, point, of point of view. And, yeah. and I. I'm not blaming anybody. Yes. I'm just saying that there's an opportunity. Yeah. And we, unfortunately, marketing is an investment conversation. Yes. 
and whether it is resources, whether it's money, yeah. whether it's resources, it is people's time who are putting in their time. Mm -hmm. There has to be a plan around it. Yeah. There has to be you know, objectives that you want to achieve. Yeah. Uh, you have to understand who the client is. When you look at the last game, yeah. uh, 60% of the fans that came were mm. South Sudanese. Yes. What do we understand about the South Sudanese? Mm. Many of mm. them mm. came from a war-torn space. War space yeah. If you look at the age group that was there, yeah. over 60% again yeah. were, over, were between the age of 18 mm. and 25. And Actually, the average age that was in that stadium, including yes. Kenyan guys, was about 24, 25. Yeah. What does that tell you? You need to preempt that. Mm -hmm. You need to understand that before the tournament the, the comes. The tournament itself. So that you yeah. plan for that. Yeah. You have Luol mm -hmm. Deng, who yeah. is an African icon when yes. it comes to the NBA. Yes. Kenyans will just want to come and see him. He yeah. is a beacon of hope for these young South Sudanese yes. uh, athlete, uh, athletes. Not just athletes, but yeah. even the fans. Yeah. They look up to him so much. He's a, he's a little god to yeah. them. Like, this is Luol, man. Yeah. If Luol is coming, then how, how do you capitalize on that yeah. and work with him beforehand mm -hmm. to say how are we going to push yeah. this agenda yeah. so that it is inclusive for everybody mm -hmm. and it adds value to everybody? Yeah. I think that for me is the way I would have looked at it. That yeah. In terms of planning, um, what, what is it that we are seeing from a mm -hmm. consumer perspective? Who's mm -hmm. the consumer of this game? Yeah. What is it that they're looking for? What is, how, do they consume, how do they consume the game? What kind of experience yeah. do we want to give them yes uh, do we have toilets or do we not the facility itself yes. how good is how, it how good is the care? how good is the facility yeah. how how good is um, how how good is the experience that we want to give them yes what do we want to be remembered for mm -hmm. and yes we can have the technical bit which i think was absolutely perfect yes. you cannot you know, touch anything around that. Mm -hmm. But when you come to the business and the commercial conversation and the eventing conversation, I think there's definitely an opportunity for us to do better. Yeah, a big one. Now, Kenya have already qualified and they are going to be playing Senegal, Mozambique in the Africa Stop Men's Tournament in 2021. How good were we as the Morans? Because last year was a big year for the Morans coming out to this one. How good is that team so far? I'm so proud of the Moran team. Yeah. Let's give credit where mm. it's due. Yeah. KBF and their partner have yeah. done an amazing job yes. with regards to investment behind the team. Mm -hmm. I remember bringing um, the Ghana Revenue Authority basketball uh -huh, team yes. for a tour yeah. last year. I think this is the second time you're that, bringing them on That was the second time. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> they beat us. Yeah. They beat our <laughs> national team. With yes. Coach Cliff, they, I know we weren't prepared, yeah. but that kind of woke us up. Uh -huh. And uh, the yeah. investment that, you know, g g the chairman has put in, he's very personal, you know, with that team. Yes. Um, the investment the players have put in, mm -hmm. both as individuals and as a, as a unit, yeah. they have a very strong team manager who's been mm -hmm. doing an amazing, amazing job behind mm -hmm. the scenes. Yeah. And the rest of the federation, what they've done with that team yeah. is absolutely commendable. Mm -hmm. Those boys have mm. put in the work and they have to honestly be commended for it. Yeah. Going to Mali, mm. coming second, coming in second yes. um, in, in the tournament that they went for. Mm. People were wondering, Morans, who are these? Who are these Morans who are coming up this big? You know, who yeah. are these Morans? Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I had a conversation with one of them. Um, I can't remember if it was Okal or, uh, or Gundo. And, and it was so hilarious because he told yeah. me he was walking in Toy Market and everyone was like, Moran, Moran. Moran. And he was confused uh -huh. because usually they're they just, are not used usually to Usually they're just tall Kenyans walking <laughs> yes. among, among short Kenyans. Yeah. But everyone could remember them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's, that's really an amazing story. That's yeah. all, you know, I think basketball fans in Kenya hope for. Yeah. My, my hope is that that same, you know, push can be given to the girls. Yeah. Uh, and, and we can be remembered for, yeah. for what we are, a, a true basketball nation. Well, a big one for us there. As we finish this conversation, I've got to ask you about the, you worked on the deal that brought in the broadcast partner to KBF, and now you have a broadcast partner. How has that been helping so far? It's one year down the line. I didn't work on it. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> yes, I, that was not my project. Uh -huh. I do not take credit where it is not mine. Yes. Um, I can say that they've done an amazing job for the game, yeah. uh, putting our games on live. Again, yeah. the conversation goes behind 
what what do we put in yes for the experience so mm -hmm. we can be seen on tv yeah but then what does that look like mm -hmm. right so the fact that we the, are what being kind of seen, package is going out there right yeah. so the fact that we are being seen we yeah. can now have statistics mm -hmm. we can now have a conversation we can yeah. now build a story behind our players we can build a story behind the league yes. it's fantastic the question yeah. now is what do we put behind the league so that mm -hmm. there's some sort of consistency mm -hmm. what do we put behind the league so that mm -hmm. it looks better yes uh, what do we mm -hmm. put behind the facilities that we're using mm -hmm. how do we move the game beyond nairobi mm -hmm. uh, so that you know it can be felt out of out of out you know of the, the city center yes. uh, out of the city and yeah. into um, the rest of the country yeah. how do we uh, build on the the content yes. that we have mm -hmm. and push that yeah. uh, beyond just uh, social media i know that they've uh, um, that they're getting a license for mm. free to air yes i think um, that's a really fantastic move that mm. will you know change a lot in terms of uh, mm. the sporting conversation that's yes. a really fantastic move yeah. um, i didn't work on it mm. so a lot of respect to whoever uh, put it, it. Yeah, who yes. put it together mm -hmm. and i think it's a good thing for basketball Wow, that has been the CEO Sports Connect Africa. Cynthia Mumbo talked to us here on Matters Basketball. Which games will you be following this afternoon? Today? Yeah. Which sport? I follow everything, so <laughs> that, that's a good question. Yeah. I'm, um, yeah. Let, me, let me just say I, I'm going in for, for a good meeting, so I, it's unfortunate I'm not watching any sports today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot for coming. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you very much for having me, yeah. and thank you for the viewers to, uh, taking the time to, to watch me. Thank you. All right. It is Y254. We have been showing you a big competition on KBC Channel 1. It's called Futsal. What is Futsal? Here for Know Your Sport, we learn about a new sport called Futsal.